Hey guys, and welcome back to Top Chair Sports. It's Monday, I'm Spencer, and clearly we are talking baseball today. And it just so happens that the season is over. Yesterday marked game 162 for every team. Except the Tigers and the White Sox, it was actually game 161 for them. Who cares? They don't matter. But the playoff picture is decided. It all came down to yesterday. We'll get into that in a little bit. But first, let's talk about all the storylines from this past week. So in his last start of the season, Justin Verlander accomplished two incredible feats. He struck out his 300th batter of the year and 3,000th batter of his career. He's the oldest player to strike out 300 in a season and is just the 18th player to reach the 3,000 strikeout milestone. Pete Alonso has broken and set new records all year and this week he set another. The no doubt rookie of the year hit his 53rd home run of the season to set a new record passing Aaron Judge for most home runs by a rookie in a single season. 24 year old first baseman has worked extremely hard to get that first base job. Coming into the season, it wasn't guaranteed. Uh, and here he is, he's got it, and man, did he run away with it. No doubt in my mind, I'm betting on him to win Rookie of the Year in the NL. Incredible season for him. Uh, another first for Major League Baseball, four teams reached the 100 win mark. Uh, the Astros, Yankees, Twins, and Dodgers all reached the century mark this year, uh, boasting some incredible teams by the likes of which we've never really seen. Uh, should be a really, really fun postseason this year. While it may be cuffing season for some, a few teams are looking to uncuff themselves from the situations they are currently in. Joe Madden and Clint Hurdle are both found jobless, uh, and they'll join Andy Green and myself uh, in the unemployment field. Uh, Joe Madden will most likely have little trouble finding a new job. Uh, a lot of people see him as a baseball genius. I don't really get it. Uh, that being said, Clint Hurdle and Andy Green will have to probably wait to see how the rest of the league reacts uh, with their own management teams. Uh, in a bogus move by the Atlanta Braves, Ronald Acuna Jr. was shut down for the remainder of the season. Uh, and he was not allowed to try and reach the 40-40 season. Now, the Braves would like you to believe this is strictly a move to keep Acuna fresh for the playoffs uh, and to give him some time off so that he can rest. And that's exactly what this is. Uh, it's just a shame that we didn't get to see him put together a very, very awesome feat. Uh, you may have thought the Cardinals and the Brewers were the only ones playing for anything on Sunday in Game 162, but you thought wrong. Uh, another race altogether was happening right under our very noses. We've been talking about the Twins and their race to 300 home runs, but we've neglected to talk about the team that's been right behind them the entire time, the New York Yankees. And entering game 162, the Yankees sat with 305 home runs while the Twins had just 304. In the end, the Twins hit three home runs to the Yankees one, so they ended up with 307 home runs, setting the record, while the Yankees come in at a close second with 306 home runs. Two teams hitting 300 home runs in a season when no team ever before has hit 300 home runs in a single season. That's incredible. And beyond that, four teams in total, and obviously with the Twins and Yankees, that includes the Dodgers and Astros, broke the record that was set by the Yankees last season. Uh, so the Dodgers and Astros also hit over 268 home runs. They've actually, all four of these teams hit over 275 home runs. All four of them combined for over 1,000 home runs. And in a, all in one year in which there had never been before a team to eclipse 268 home runs. Again, the record that was originally set by the Yankees. So it was the year of the long ball. All right, real quick, we're gonna run down the stat leaders. Uh, and these, this is how it all shaped out. So first uh, hitting, Tim Anderson finished with uh, 335 average. Pete Alonso finished with 53 home runs, and he was the only player with 50 this year. And Anthony Rendon finished with 126 RBIs. So I got some of those right and some of those wrong, but whatever. Uh, for pitching, Hinjin Ryu takes the ERA crown with a 2.32 ERA. Justin Verlander does end as the only pitcher. Uh, no, Garrett Cole also got 21s. Uh, but Verlander ends with 21, so he does take 
the uh, the the crown there. Uh, and Garrett Cole finishes with 326 strikeouts. All right, so standings, like I said, everything's been figured out. We know how the postseason is going to look. Obviously, we need the wild card games to be played, but let's break it all down. So in the AL, first things first, the championship, at the very least, will run through Houston. So Houston claimed home field advantage. So no matter what, if Houston is in, they've got home field. So if the Houston Astros go to the World Series, it will be four games played in Houston, three games played in the NL. Uh, so they, the Astros will take on the winner of the A's and Rays. That is the final of the uh, wild card race. The A's are the number one wild card team, so they will host the Rays in Oakland. Uh, and that means the Yankees and the Twins will meet up in round one to continue the home run contest that they've been putting on. All right, so the prediction for this, I'm going to say that the A's, because they're in Oakland, they're going to hold off the Rays. Uh, it's kind of tough because these are two fairly evenly matched teams, in my opinion. They'll have to go on to take on the Astros, though. And no matter what, I see the Astros sweeping or at the very least taking the series in four. Um, they're just too much of a juggernaut. As for the Yankees Twins, I see the Yankees uh, ending up just being a little too much for this Twins team uh, and taking the series in four. Uh, so that would then mean a Yankees Astros ALCS, which I think is very, very likely. Over in the NL, the Brewers were not able to pull off the comeback, so they fall and end up as the second <clears throat> wildcard team. They have to play in DC against the Nationals uh, in a, in a one-game playoff. Winner will go on to take on the Dodgers while the Cardinals and Braves meet up in Atlanta. Now the Nationals will need just about everything in their up their sleeves, whatever, to hold off uh, the. Uh, Brewers. Brewers had an incredible month of September despite losing Christian Yelich. That being said, that lineup is not the same without Yelich. I can't picture them taking a deep run. What they did in September is nothing short of amazing, uh, but the Nationals have this guy named Max Scherzer, and he's pretty much everything. So I'm betting on them to win. However, the Dodgers are just going to be too big of a task for the Nationals. Uh, that lineup is just too nasty. Even though the Nationals do boast a very, very good pitching staff, Dodgers also have the best win percentage against the National League teams. They win over two-thirds of their games played against National League teams. So, that being said, bet on them. Uh, and because I'm biased, I'll take the Cardinals in five. So, that will do it. We obviously, uh, I'm trying to think, I don't think the NLDS will be figured out. NLDS and ALDS, so the Division Series. I don't think they'll be figured out, so we'll give an update on those next week and kind of give, you know, maybe a switcheroo as to what we think. And then also go ahead and take, based off of the predictions as to how, or how we see the divisional series shaping up, go on to predict what we think is going to happen in the championship series and maybe even give our guess as to who will meet up in the World Series. As of right now, way too early prediction, but I'm going to go ahead and take the Astros and the Dodgers. There's obviously a lot of playoffs to be uh, played before we get there so but those two teams look like the best bet all right i will be back here tomorrow to talk about the western conference in the nba and then i will see you guys next week for baseball